uh, just quickly. I was just having a, a few chicken wings here. Look at this place, pretty nice. We'll get to the lecture in a minute. So here I can probably even, yeah, and I hear the little dog barking louder because I'm talking now. Could even put a tent here maybe. It's just really close to the beach, so it's probably not a good idea. The beach is just literally over the hill. Anyway, so, so there's this little like dog barking in the back of so, uh, so pardon me, <laughs> at the back of someone's house. I don't know if you can hear it at all. You probably guys, you guys are probably not going to be able to hear it at all. But he's going mm, mm, like a real high pitched little yelp. And I've encountered this before, but this <laughs> this dog's got it bad. It's like when I started walking through here, it started. Not until I came into this section from up there did uh, the dog start doing its little yelp and it did it every time I would step like it's listening to me anyway this video is called uh, along the lines of dogs or animals gang stalk too many dogs are gang stalkers too I'll probably call it many dogs um, you know a lot of dogs are connected grounded and have soul but there's a lot of them who are like their owners and I always find it's old people's dogs as well, because, man, those baby boomers, man, they are fucking neurotic as hell. Right, they're absolute ego control freaks. Almost all of them I've ever met, they always think they're better than our generation, all the other generations. Right, fuck you baby boomers, to be honest. These are dense and conforming. That's how I see them. Uh, and very, very gangstalkish uh, generation interesting now I started talking the dog stopped because what was happening was he was going eh, eh, putting his little yelp up which is uh, connecting to you mentally he's proper gang stalking this little dog I don't know how far away it is it sounds I mean the track is like 30 it's got to be like 30 meters up here and the closest house must be 20 meters or more away it has to be and I can sort of just hear it and he's still, it's completely stopped now since I've started talking because I'm dominating the vibration now so <clears throat> when you sneak in this place and you're stepping on the, the leaves it must know because I'm sure a lot of people have been into this spot because I mean look at it, it's like the perfect little clearing here it's like the perfect little spot to put your tent um, so I'm sure a lot of, you know, fucking junkies and stuff have been here. There's a bag over here somewhere. <laughs> I saw a little satchel bag, probably cocaine or something. I don't know. Might be speed or whatever, I don't know. But there's, you know, there's bits of rubbish around. So, I mean, uh, it's, there's some rubbish down there. I know someone's camped here for sure. I don't know what this hole is. Could have been a plant, could have been a shithole, who knows. Maybe for the fire, I don't know. But, um... Obviously people have come in here, you can see there's a track over time, people have come here and I reckon that that dog has messed with them. A lot, I know old people do this shit. It's, it's so weird because it's not like they say point over there and say get them. It's like the dog is already a gang stalker because the owner is a gang stalker. And it's always with these old people and those little fucking chihuahuas and shit, that's what it sounds like. I don't know what type of dog it is, but it almost sounds like one of those little ch chihuahuas yelping. And it would only do it when I was stepping. It's completely stopped now, which is very interesting because you hear my voice is not that <laughs> high-pitched stupidity, which, you know, every time it did it, it, it's like shocking and puts you even further in fear. And I'm sure that this dog can sense uh, mentally because I can fucking feel it. It's trying to give you like a brain sink and connect to you which starts to steal your energy but now that I'm like this he can't get through my vibration my my voice he simply can't steal my energy like this I, and I could just hum more if it started yelping again I would hum and I would keep it off me it's little because when it yelps it's sending out a, a little sound tether right these little vampiric tethers just like the the people do but this is in dog format. We're talking dog gang stalking now. 
but they're aware. They're not fucking stupid. They, they are, you know, I lived with Oro, a cat, in the jungle of South America for years. I know now exactly how intuitive animals are. It's how we are if we're grounded and not in our shoes in the city all day. That's how all these people become fucking idiots because they're just completely disconnected. It's a complete surface virus. Yeah, so anyway, he can yelp all he wants. It's stopped still, which is funny, which proves to me, if not any of you, that I know I'm right because I faced this in Uruguay as well. That's where I learned about this sort of shit in Uruguay because they're the worst gang stalkers and their dogs in Uruguay. My God, man, in 2016 when I first got there, I couldn't even sleep in the city. And then in that coastal town, you know, all the coastal towns, all the towns, any street you walk down, if the dog doesn't know you, it'll bark. Um, anyway, so this little dog is there yelping, and what it's what it's doing is sensing me coming in, is sensing my my fear. You know, when you heighten the anxiety, so it's picked up on that molecular cascade. Trust me, energy waves peripherate out. <laughs> What did I just talk about the other day? The human light, light body via the heart field is 33 um, feet in all directions. That's way over there, 11 meters. Now he's further away than that, but because you're still in the sound spectrum, you're still connecting to each other. It can still hear me, I can hear it. I don't know how far, it must be 25, 30 meters away or something. Um, but yeah, it's funny, it's still stopped because I'm talking now, because I'm not. I've gone down, I'm out of that anxiety. When you go, you sneak in somewhere, you're really quiet. You've got the adrenaline, androgens hardening. You've got um, adrenaline and so forth pumping a bit more, right, and the anxiety molecules and stuff. So it's sensed that. That's what I'm trying to drop on you today. I'm telling you, it's how it works. I find it very interesting that it's just happened here now because I just came to chill. But then as soon as I started hearing the little yelps, I got into more of that fear vibe. And it's high beta. Remember how I always talk about high beta? High beta anxiety type of state. <clears throat> and now that I've started talking, it's completely shut the fuck up like it should. Because I'm the human, you're just a little fucking dumb dog. That's why I hate the gang stalking dogs, man. Because they take on the vibe that they've got something over you like the rich old people who call police for every second movement that someone does you know, and make their animals just as neurotic and, as they are so yeah, just wanted to put that down lovely little spot